Good morning, folks. We are at Parker's Creek Campground in Jordan Lake State Recreational Park. It is a state park. The beginning of this video starts out with what you can hear. There's a bridge over to the right of this beautiful lake. And then you can see now uh, they're out in the water there are rowers. Uh, we don't know if that's from one of the local, the local university or not, but we're, we're guessing that's what it is, unless there's a professional rowing team in Raleigh. We are in Apex, uh, North Carolina, not far from Raleigh. Uh, and, um, and straight ahead is apparently the Raleigh Airport, because planes come overhead right, right. here. It was about 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning when uh, we, uh, I heard a very loud, it sounded like they were going to land on the campsite. It was loud. I don't know what it was, a small plane or, I know it wasn't a helicopter because it didn't sound like a helicopter, but uh, it was loud, very loud. Um, all night long, you could hear the traffic from the bridge, which is just right over there, constantly all night long. Um, Last night we got here about 7 o'clock because we spent a little bit of extra time in Madison, North Carolina, which is a beautiful place um, with beautiful people that we met. And so uh, this was our third stop. I wanted to get here and set up before dark, but that didn't happen. Um, but that's okay. We got here. Uh, we set up. We got here about 7 o'clock. We set up. Well, first we, we drove through and we found the camp host because apparently Jordan Lake uh, State Rec Recreational, the visitor center for check-in, they close at four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I didn't know this, but anyway. So uh, we get here and we thought, you know, just like the last campground, um, the camp host will have firewood for sale. Um, and they didn't. Uh, he said they don't allow them to sell firewood. And so we had to go back up to uh, the Valero station and we bought four cu cords of firewood and uh, four bundles. Four bundles of firewood. And uh, just to give you an idea, this is what's left over of a cord or a, a bundle and a half. It wouldn't even burn. What, what did burn? Yeah, it was sad. So we gave the rest of the bundles to the guy next door um, on, on the next campsite. So, um, so we did. We didn't have any any uh, good firewood. We didn't have a good fire. We actually um, sat in the van and warmed up and went to the bathroom, and then came back. and uh, It didn't take us that long to set up the tent. No. When it's just the two of us and we don't have anybody with us, it doesn't take that long to set up the tent. And we climbed in for the night, and we fell asleep probably about 11 o'clock last night. 11 or so. Uh, we, we did get the fire uh, hot enough to... Melt butter. Melt a little bit of butter in the <laughs> frying pan and warm up the barbecue that we had yesterday. So we, we each had a sandwich, uh, and that was about it. Uh, and then um, we were going to go and take a shower here. But their showers, um, it's cold in there. So who wants to take, uh, try and take a hot shower in a very cold place? And their sinks, like he said, has a sensor on them. So yes. you have to keep sticking your hand under there just to brush your teeth. Yes, and, it wouldn't yeah. pick up the toothbrush. So I had to stick my hand under there and then the water ran for like two seconds and would shut off. So I right. was like doing sideways jumping jacks to get my teeth brushed right my my booty was frozen last night just going to the bathroom just going to the toilet so um but we um so planet we, fitness for showers this morning right definitely. um but before we go to planet fitness thank goodness i got that membership because uh planet fitness uh um, I just bought the one membership, and then with that, Steve gets in for free with me, or I, any guest can get in free with me. Um, they have showers, they have massage chairs, and they have hydro massage recliners. So I'm going to take advantage of that. But before we go there, we're going to go to uh, Duncan <laughs> and get some coffee because uh, we there's no way we can we don't have this is not an electric site. 
Uh, we could probably do it in the bathroom, but it's so cold in the bathroom um, because they have these shutters with screens over them. So the airflow is is through there, and uh, so um, and it would take forever to fill up uh, a you know our coffee pot with the the way the water is in the faucet. So we're going to skip that. But we chose this site because this is our this site is um, Parker's Creek Campground in Jordan Lake uh, Recreational Area, and this is uh, Loop Two, right? Yes. Loop Two, Site Sixty Two, which you can see is right on the water. Uh, but Steve did a little bit of fishing this morning, um, and. About um, 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, and he said it's very shallow. The guy next to us, he's got a little kayak, and he went out this morning. He's got he's got a, a whole array of uh, fishing equipment. He went out in the kayak um, to go fish, and he said uh, last night he caught a, a catfish, catfish. Just, just randomly caught a catfish. Um, so I chose this place specifically for my husband so that we could have a nice roaring campfire uh, watch the sunset, which we got here late, um, and he could fish for a little while and and enjoy the space. And it didn't really didn't turn out the way we wanted. Uh, the other thing about this place is they um, they they literally lock the gates uh, from 9 p.m. until 8 a.m. in this campground. So you're trapped in here. It's for our security, right? So, but I've you're, never seen you're trapped a state in here. park that locked the campground. Right. The campground so, you usually can come and go as long as you got a pass. Yeah. So I woke up at 5:30 this morning, and woke him up at six uh, after I posted a, a bad review on Facebook. <laughs> uh, but as it, we were warmer, a little bit warmer, he wasn't. I w I slept in my sweatshirt, and and with the. Um, with the uh, sleeping bag, I was I was very toasty warm, um, a lot toasty warm than um, than with my quilts. So my quilts are wonderful, right? Everybody loves my quilts. They will not keep you warm in a campground on the water <laughs> in a tent. <laughs> uh, so um, if you're wanting me to make you a quilt for camping. Uh, it's going to be extra because you're going to need like three layers of batting. It's going to be a five-layer quilt. Um, I would suggest you just stick with the sleeping bag. So anyway, um, that's that. I'm, I, we're not going to explore this this state park. We're just killing time until eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock here. We're an hour ahead, of course, um, and so uh, we're just killing time and doing a, a quick review, but. The reviews that other people have done, they didn't mention the traffic noise or the right. airport noise. They didn't mention uh, you're basically at a teenage lock-in all night long um, and that the bathrooms, uh, they're clean. I'll give you that. They are clean, but they're cold. And uh, I can imagine, like many other campgrounds, this place is just teeming with people. And it might be nice and comfortable um, in the uh, summer, late summer, uh, early fall, but uh, in the middle of October, not so much. So uh, we're going to drive around the loop and drive out of here, and I'll show that video. But we're not we're not going to go on any of the other loops, and we're not going to uh, even. Do you want to go to the visitor center and get a patch? I do not. Okay, we'll just chalk this up to. Yeah, if it's if the patch doesn't show up on our our hoodie sweatshirt, then um, yeah, it wasn't favorable for us. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're in a camper, I don't know. I don't know if you have a camper with thin walls and you can hear everything. But to me, if I want to stay in a campground uh, in a tent, I want to hear crickets. I want to hear nature. I don't want to hear the highway. So. Uh, you guys can research it for yourself, but this is this is not just. I'm not trying just to do a bad review. I'm giving you the good and the bad. I mean, I mean, we didn't go to the picnic area. We didn't go to any of that. Maybe right. it's nice. Maybe the visitor center is nice. We don't know, but yeah, with we're just last gonna... night's experience. I don't even want to mess with that right. today. Maybe if we're back in the 
area again sometime and we're just driving through maybe we'll hit the visitor center and say right. hey this is nice who knows so with all the cons I will say the the biggest pro is the sun, the sunrise over this lake is just absolutely breathtaking. You can see the view is pretty nice. You got the right. fog on the lake over there. Right. It's pretty cool. And I just posted, or I just, uh, up, I'm uploading uh, a 45 minute silent video of the sunrise with Steve uh, this morning. And it's just, it's just a serene sunrise and you can insert your own music and, um, there's, I muted it so that you wouldn't hear the highway. You could enjoy the sunrise without hearing what we had to hear this morning. I don't know if you can see that bridge on the video that's straight ahead, but there's another one just to the right of us. And I don't know that I can get it. It's yeah. through those trees, but you can definitely hear traffic. On all that, night long. All yeah. night. And you can hear the bridge popping. You know how it's got the expansion plates? You can hear that. So I'm going to back up here and I'm going to uh, take us out of here forwards instead of backwards if I can. And I didn't notice it last night, but we have water right here next to us mm -hmm. if we needed it. Um, you know, I have that porta potty in the back of the van, but I have not broken it out once. Um, well, I haven't had, had to yet. Um, Thankfully, my bladder is uh, not very big, and I don't have to really worry about that. <laughs> so, uh, so this is site number 62, and I'm going to go around the loop uh, another full time so you can see uh, exactly what it looks like. When she was backing up, there's only three more sites before us on this side. That have water. Are, no, well, that ha there's only three more sites on this, oh, yeah, camp, right. this loop. So you kind of saw those. So this the this the whole loop more or less. So I'm going to go around and then I'm going to go around the entire loop all together. So Oh, and if you saw there's a handicap accessible site right there we just passed. Right. They do have handicap accessible. They do have trash cans. You see they do have other uh, campers that are successful with lighting fires. It just wasn't Maybe us. Maybe you got over here, you wouldn't hear the noise as much. Right. There's a little beach area over here. I mean, there's a lot of places that you can park on the water. Um, I believe all of these are non-electric tent camping or RV, but it's not electric. Uh, they all have the fire ring. They don't have them on um, a concrete pad where they come and lift them up and sweep it away. But, I mean, I guess they still can sweep it away. But um, I think this one might have electric. Yeah, the some camp of these. The post is all the way at the end of the loop. Yeah, this is the camp post. So. And this park also closes for winter, apparently. Yeah. Because he said that he's done at the end of October. Right. You really have to do your, your research because uh, when they say, in some campgrounds, if they say tent camping, um, you might be boat in only or you backpack where you have to park, you know, 500 feet away, you know, half a mile away and backpack in. So, and of course, this looks a lot different at night. So these are the bathroom slash uh, showers. And you see where those... Uh, it's got the slats like the old pit toilets do, but it's right. got modern facilities in there. It's just you and have no clean. temperature control. Yes. Um, and they have the wet, caution wet floor signs up all the time. All the time, right. So like I said, maybe this would be nicer on, uh, you know, in the summer, late summer, early fall. Uh, but, yeah, if, unless you have, and you got to make sure that you have really good, you need to get here early and buy it. Um, you know, I always said, well, it's overpriced at the visitor center, but it's, uh, 
it's kept indoors. I think that's part of what uh, our problem was with this. And so. it, the wood is heat treated too, to uh, kill invasive species. But it burned great when we bought it at Lake Norman. And if you're camping and you're in central North Carolina, I suggest Lake, Lake Norman over this. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is site, starts out with site 58, 58. in loop 2. Uh, and you've got uh, you've got sites on both sides, but these are on the water. 58, 59, 60s over here on my left, and they have a camper. I'm sorry, 61. 60 is here. 62 is here, which was us. 63 on my left. 64 on my right. All on the water tent camping, no electric. Now this one, uh, Site 66, seems to be a dual, so it's a kind of like a shared back-end driveway. Um, and then this is the walkway right here that takes you back to the bathhouses. And that's right beside the handicap. Right. A lot of these places, if you have a handicap site, it's very close to or even connected with the bathhouses. So you've got, uh, this is site 71. I mean, the lake is beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful views. That's why I say it might, might be a pretty nice place to come for a picnic, the picnic area. Right. If you got the same kind of views of the water. Of course, you're not going to get a sunrise or a sunset because right. of the time they close, but. And this is Site 77, and it's right uh, on the water. It's It's got a nice beach. You can see the beach over there, back there. Um, again, yeah, the all the sites to the left, looks like that they have power. Um, and those have motorhomes on them anyway, so. Um, there are a few stations. You've got trash cans. You've got uh, water for anyone to use. Um, I'm not sure about, uh, we don't have a motorhome. We, we're tent camping. I'm not sure about uh, where the dump station, but I'm assuming that it's when you come come in um, to the campground. So, like I said, we came in here last night when it was dark, so we couldn't really see anything. Um, but this site uh, cost us with Steve's military discount, it costs twenty dollars. So I mean, I guess you can't expect very much for twenty dollars. But tonight we're going to the coast. We're on our way there now. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to Planet Fitness this morning, so we can take some nice hot showers and get freshened up. That's why you can't see my face right now because <laughs> I've got camp hair. And I do care that I have camp hair right now. So, um, hopefully, we can make it down by PNC, and maybe that'll be our next video. And you can see the home of the Carolina Hurricanes. Take warning, go Canes! Yes, go Canes! Um, it looks like over there they have it. Well, they have it blocked yeah. off somehow. A dump that they have water. You can't, the dump station is covered up for if you have an RV. Um, oh, I say hopefully because the state fair is going on right now, so the hurricanes are always on the road this time of year, which kind of stinks at the beginning of the year to be on a 14-day road trip, but it is what it is. But I don't know if we can get to the arena because of the state fair. If we can, there will be a video. <laughs> So this is the entrance exit. Could we have gotten out of here? Uh, Were we trapped in here? I think the gate that's closed is the one out by the highway. Okay. Let this person pass. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, we're leaving out here. I'm going to check in with them uh, and let them know. That we stayed here last night so we'll see you guys at the next location happy day after our anniversary baby happy and happy day after our anniversary i love you so much love you so much Mwah. Mwah. bye